This beefy laptop is the Dell XPS 15 with Windows 11 Homer Pro running anywhere from $1,200 to $3,600. Pretty expensive in some cases. The case comes platinum silver with a black interior and you can get it with 16, 32, 64 gigs of RAM depending on what you choose. There's a wide selection of awesome video cards, even up to a 4070, which is gonna make it really expensive towards the $3,600 range if you start adding in all the nice uh, specs. And it also comes with this little adapter. It's a USB-C plug-in because the laptop itself has no video inputs and gives you a USB-A connection and the HDMI cable, which is very nice. Later on in the video, we would suggest that you look into getting a dock, which would actually fit this requirement where it gives you video, Ethernet, USB, and all using one cable uh, and is able to charge your laptop. But we'll show you that soon. And right now we have a 130 watt enormous uh, type C power adapter. And the laptop itself can come with an i7 or i9 processor, which is very nice, really fast. There are many storage options for this machines from 512 all the way up to eight terabytes, which is pretty nice. You'll have plenty of storage for anything that you need. The case on this laptop is really nice. It's machined aluminum with a carbon fiber palm rest, which makes it really look pretty sharp and have a nice feel to it. On top of that, the speakers are very good and we will test them later on in this video. You'll be able to hear them coming through. The display is a 15.6 inch display, either FHD or OLED, which is also pretty amazing. Here we have a USB type C along with a full SD card and a headphone jack, which is convenient. And on the other side, we also have a USB type C connector, actually two of those along with a lock. And then the unit itself has a 720p camera, which is a little lacking and a dual array microphone as well. And here's another view of the laptop itself from the sides and back. And you'll notice it also comes with a six cell, 86 watt hour integrated battery, uh, which is decent, but it's probably a little small for this unit trying to make it uh, lighter. But then I have a feeling that once you start using the full power of the video card, it's gonna start um, draining pretty quickly, uh, at least more than you prefer. As you can tell here, the screen is really nice, really bright, um, and this is even without external power, so pretty decent. And the nice thing about the keyboard is it is backlit, so it'll uh, light up if you're typing in the dark or need that. And as I had mentioned earlier, I'm going to show you a video of the unit connected to a Dell dock, which is really nice. It's actually Thunderbolt to the machine, gives you multiple video options, USB, Ethernet, and power. So you could charge your laptop all through that one cable with all those peripherals working all through the one cable. It's really, really nice. So we highly recommend it. And here's some test video that you can check out that uh, will let you see the display in action. And now we'll play some test audio. That way you can actually hear what kind of audio it can provide. You know, mind you, it's being recorded with a cell phone. I got my brand new refurbished iPad Pro and and this was from one of the videos I just made 
It was about 630 bucks or so. A lot. Now we're going to show you for the rest of the video here the Passmark software uh, benchmarking test uh, to test the whole machine out and get you a screenshot of the final result at the end. Uh, this will be for reference and hope it helps. The machine is a powerhouse and the one specific machine we tested was roughly $2,600 and be aware of that once you start adding in warranties as well if you want to it'll uh, increase the price and there are some alternate options that are cheaper but this is the uh, option from dell in this uh, form factor
now the results gonna pop up here and uh, as you'll see this thing is extremely powerful and super impressive it's showing up as a 95th percentile with a score of 92 85.5 in the uh, pass mark rating for the performance test 11.0 I hope this uh, video helps and let us know if you end up buying this machine or have any experience with it, any issues or success. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and then share this with your friends and colleagues. Thanks.